In this video, we will show you how to store, thaw, and administer the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. We will also explain how it differs from other vaccines you may administer. First, a few basic facts about the vaccine. The Moderna COVID-19 vaccine comes as a frozen suspension in a multi-dose vial. Each vial contains 10 doses of vaccine after thawing. And once thawed, the vaccine is ready to use. It is administered in two doses, which are given at a recommended interval of 28 days. The route of administration is an intramuscular injection in the upper arm, and it is currently recommended to be administered to people who are 18 years of age and older without an upper age limit. In clinical trials, the vaccine given in two doses was shown to be 94% effective. What is different about this vaccine compared to other vaccines? First of all, it has different cold chain requirements and it must be thawed before using. The storage and administration requirements are also slightly different. First, let us review how the vaccine should be stored. Frozen, unopened vaccine vials can be stored in a freezer at temperatures between minus 25 and minus 15 degrees Celsius from receipt until the expiration date. Thawed, unopened vaccine vials can be stored in a refrigerator at temperatures between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius for up to 30 days. Vials that have been thawed should never be returned to a freezer and refrozen. Do not store the vaccine in insulated passive containers with dry ice or ultra-low temperature phase change material or in a freezer below minus 40 degrees Celsius. While the vials are in storage or taken out for a vaccination session, minimize any exposure to light. Avoid exposure to direct sun or ultraviolet light. Now, let us talk about how to thaw and prepare the vaccine for administration. During transport and storage, the vaccine should be kept frozen in temperatures between minus 25 to minus 15 degrees Celsius. Therefore, before being administered to vaccine recipients, the Moderna vaccine needs to be thawed and brought to room temperature. This can be done in two ways. Vials may be thawed at room temperature at 15 to 25 degrees Celsius for one hour, or the vials may be thawed in a refrigerator at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for 2 hours and 30 minutes. In this case, vials will need to be taken out of the refrigerator and kept at room temperature for 15 minutes before vaccine administration. Once thawed, the vaccine is ready to use. Do not dilute. Again, once thawed, the vaccine is ready to use and does not need to be diluted with a separate diluent. When the vaccine has reached room temperature, swirl the vial gently. Do not shake the vial. Inspect the vial to make sure the liquid is white to off-white in color. The vaccine may contain white or translucent product-related particles. If any other particles or discoloration are present, discard the vial. On the vial label, write the date and time of first use. The first use is when you first puncture the vial and withdraw the first dose. Before withdrawing each dose, swirl the vaccine vial gently. Remember not to shake the vial. Next, draw up a 0.5 milliliter dose into the AD syringe. Each vaccine vial contains 10 doses, so before withdrawing each subsequent dose, the vaccine vial should be gently swirled again. Administer the vaccine into the upper arm of the recipient using an intramuscular injection technique. After the first dose has been withdrawn, keep the vaccine vial at temperatures between 2 and 25 degrees Celsius. There may be some vaccine left in the vial after you withdraw the 10th dose. Do not combine remaining vaccine from multiple vials. Discard the vial. Follow safe injection practices to avoid any needle stick injuries. Dispose of used syringes in a safety box immediately after vaccine administration. 
discard opened vaccine vials after six hours or at the end of the immunization session, whichever comes first. To ensure the vaccine recipient's safety, ask them to sit in the waiting area for observation for 15 minutes after the injection, or for 30 minutes if they have a history of anaphylaxis or if they have had anaphylaxis in the past. Do not administer the vaccine to any person with a known history of anaphylaxis to any component of the vaccine, or who developed anaphylaxis after the first dose of this or other mRNA COVID-19 vaccine. You should now know how to store, thaw, and administer the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine and understand how it differs from other routine immunizations.